you're getting ready to route the spar using this routing tool, have a fence that I run the router down. It's an eighth inch bit. It sticks through the fixture about five sixteenths of an inch, enough for the quarter inch by eighth inch spar. And power on. See the bottom of the fixture here. So now it's routed. Take the clamps off. Take the fixture off. And what I have is a nice neat eight inch wide slot that's 30 all over 36 inches long i flip the core over you can see the bottom of the fixture here and with the router sticking through Get that I can't get it in the right spot. But what I do is put the fixture back on top of the wing. Clamp it back down. Angle the router back up. Now the wing is slotted, top and bottom, 
and these wings are very strong. Now I'm going to show putting spars into the wing. The slot is just barely big enough for the spar. And trying to push it into the foam can be just a little bit problematic with the sharp edges. So what I do is mark one side of the spar with a black magic marker so I know that that's the side that's going into the wood. And I forgot to do something on this one. I forgot to sight it and see which end is the curved end. And I got lucky because I like to put the curved end in the middle. It's easier that way, I found. The sticks are never exactly straight. So I take a sanding block to hit the rough edges. All you're trying to do is knock the, the sharp edge off. It's not critical. for the video, but I want to go ahead and get ready. <clears throat> oh, and I forgot, these are 48 inch sticks, so I'll have to cut them. So now let's try this again. Insert the stick into the slot. Use thumb pressure to get it pretty close to the surface. Don't want it to go below the surface because it's real important that this spruce spar be in contact with the carbon fiber strip that's going over the top of it because it's the T that's formed with the carbon fiber strip in the wing skin that gives you the strength in the wing. And now I use a wide blade screwdriver and push it flush with the surface. Okay, it's flush with the surface now. And I take foam safe thin CA and I tack it about every inch on both sides. Some epoxy will get down between the spar and the foam 
now increase the strength of the wood to foam joint, but the CA holds it in place so that when I put the skin on and it goes under vacuum, the spar is held tightly against the carbon fiber in the wing skin. Because like I said, that's where the real strength of this structure is, is in the carbon fiber to spruce spar joint and the carbon fiber to wing skin. And it's real important that there be good epoxy to carbon fiber on both sides of that carbon fiber spar. And before I can flip it over, the CA has to cure. I would just repeat for the other side, and then I'm ready to skin the wing. And that's how I put in my spars.